감사합니다. Thank you. I feel energized. Yeah. We have company mission statement. And that is, cherish your soul. And I mentioned we have a body, so why did I omit the physical body? Because it's just given that we value our bodies. Body seems to be the focus of our lives. Thus, we have to cherish our soul and spirit to balance it out. Soul and spirit is the essence of our inner being. By cherishing your soul, you should not use people as tools, but as purpose. For your soul, you have to make work as a tool. Therefore, with atomy, Atomy itself cannot be your purpose. Atomy has to be the tool for your soul. Atomy exists to accomplish your purpose. So far, our company value has been different. And for company's sake, people have been sacrificed and used as tools and company regarded as purpose. But with Atomy, it's been different. From the get-go, it wasn't the importance of the company per se, but the people that established the company. Thus, focus is placed on people. Now, we have relationships with people. Internally, we have staff members or employees. From the company's point of view, they are the internal customers. Secondly, we have members. And thirdly, we have customers who use our products. Fourth, we have manufacturers that supply the products. Obviously in the broad sense we have the government and etc. So in reality there's lots to be paid out. There's 10% tax in Seoul Korea on products as well as from the commission. In our industry we pay way more taxes than other businesses and pay additional taxes from profit as well. To the government, in spite of half of my income being taken, I have no complaints. I'm very thankful and with all the benefits it offers, I believe making a lot and paying a lot of income tax, which is a beautiful thing. Appointed a new tax officer and advise them to guide us. No company can come completely clean when it comes to books. I've asked our tax officer to make us come clean. We will pay all the necessary taxes due and come clean. So with every sale, even with a $10 sale, our computer system tracks down and we submit full reports. On an average of six to seven thousand items of sales every day, everything gets all reported. You are under the radar of management committee and they verify all your sales. When you go to the special corporation sales, you will access your deduction certificate. Most of you will not verify it, but they will all show up. The system allows you to download and print. Therefore, there's no room for deception. So, if we cannot fool the system, might as well just contribute what we owe. But I have a favor to ask. 
We should all be exemplary taxpayers. Hmm? We should all give more rather than selfishly take. I am a firm believer in paying more to our employees. There is bonus at the end of the year. Clearly more will be given to those who work harder. It's only fair so that hard-working members will be encouraged. Therefore, more is given to those who work hard, and the point is that we value our employees, always striving to pay them well. But they are expected to perform 5 to 10 people's workload to work efficiently and not work longer hours. Use your brain and finish up early. Thus, get rid of work. This is the direction Atomy is taking. And with our members, if you want to build a business, just keep purchasing the necessary products from discount stores or home shopping. Do you have anything to lose? No, just change the brand to Atomy. You need the products anyway. You change the brand and have nothing to lose, so you share the info with your neighbors. And then, does this customer have anything to lose? So you have to make sure yourself that it's worth switching. You have to make sure the products you've recommended are worth sharing. Even if you didn't build the business, it has to be worthwhile to use them. Can you make that judgment call? So if you think it's worth it, recommend the products with confidence. Consumers can definitely benefit because what we can save you is money. So even with the manufacturers or suppliers, we don't rip them off. With us and any manufacturers that's dealt with anime, none of them have gone under but rather flourished, especially with Sun Biotech, SBT, signature product, as they were on the verge of bankruptcy with only four, three or four employees left, we saved them, they only sold 500 boxes at the time, and we came in and currently distributing 60 to 70,000 boxes. Every month we've been setting records in distribution and that's how the manufacturers survive. We also won't let any manufacturers rip us off. We won't allow them overpricing us. I will not allow that. Absolutely not. We get to the bottom line and negotiate. I take the initiative and call the shots. If they start adding the unnecessary costs, I set my foot down. No nonsense approach. We want to be in a win-win situation. Everyone has to win. Not inflating the cost, but making a fair share of profit. That's how they can increase their employees. The whole neighborhood can benefit from each other's business. This definitely is a win-win for everyone. Through Atomy, we're providing benefits, seemingly unknowingly. Once the employees start using the products, and by recommending the purchasing, there's an income stream that's created. So what we're doing is diligently paying taxes to the government. Our country has to be healthy, thus we're adding benefit. There cannot be any area where we rip them off. So there has to be balance and distribution. Thus in our founders ideology, words like survival, speed and balance is mentioned. This has to do with distribution. 
This distribution, when tilted to one side, can make people starve. In the law of minimum rate, people who get affected the least determine the outcome. Therefore, atomy is about balancing the distribution. And people involved will make a living and have a chance to be wealthy. Atomy can be too f for you to pay for your children's education. And do have you do the things you want in life to make you happy. Secondly, Manage your thoughts. Your thoughts are powerful. Nevertheless, we do not make use of it. Less than 1 or 2 percent is utilized. There are those that can embrace hundreds of thousands of people on the one hand, and those who struggle can't even maintain relationship with his or her spouse. Your mind gets narrower and narrower. You have to be able to create your thoughts to become big. Although you might be renting a small 900 square foot apartment or a house, you have the ability to create bigger thoughts of living comfortably. in a 4,000 square foot home and be proud to invite people over. You are capable of changing your thoughts. You might not even have a car now, but you must have a car. Instead of riding the subway that's crowded and packed with people like sardines, you should drive and give rooms for others. You shouldn't live like that. You repeatedly regret that you're in a subway, inconvincing others and yourself. You barely make yourself through the crowd. And as soon as you see people get up from their seat, you try to squeeze in yourself. That's how you can d distinguish between a married woman and a single woman. Married women are a bit more audacious that way. <laughs> if you drive your own car, you will not have this kind of problem. You will elegantly sit in your car. If you change your thought, your circumstance will change also. You might say, who do I need a car? I like being poor. Nonsense. There's nothing good about being poor. I used to be poor for three years. When you live in the slum, you will know that there's no self-respect amongst each other. They put you down every which way possible. There was someone urinating at the corner of the building and I told him to go to a private place and I get harassed. What can I say? In order to build a sound society, we need to raise people up from the bottom. No one will appoint me to be a good citizen except me. Can I try to enforce social etiquette? Who are you to say that? 
If you're that good, why are you in this area? Are you better than me? Was his response? So I keep my silence. A person with character will keep his silence in this kind of situation. If you start arguing, it's a sure proof that you have no character. I did my best as a leader to point out his wrongdoing. But if he or she cannot accept it, silence is proof of having character. Yeah. But I'm there. Now, when I moved to a wealthy neighborhood, everyone was more respectable than me. There were professionals, and even though I didn't hand out my business cards, they treated me with utmost respect. That's what happened when I moved to upscale neighborhood. But you know what it is that make you switch neighborhoods? It's not physical means, but your thoughts. You are more capable of changing your thoughts. After I said okay to that urinating bum, I vowed myself to leave that neighborhood, thus moved upscale. <laughs> For Yangge Chang to Chungge Chang, I was boiling with anger and went to the hill to see where I should move. The area behind the horse racing track and the train station looked ideal and came down from the hill. Then I explored the neighborhood and decided to move into that neighborhood. I moved into that neighborhood three years later. Point out the place and move in. Last year there was a flood. <laughs> because of the disaster, we had to live in a temporary dwelling until homes were... Now I know the areas that are flood prone and build a house. Now I know the areas that are flood prone and build a house. <laughs> no one can decide for you where you can move or not move. All it takes is your unshakable desire for change and every chance to get it. Explore your ideal neighborhood and decide which house you want to be in. You might be penniless, but still nurture your dream. Although I was renting a $500 apartment at the time, I would go explore my ideal neighborhood whenever possible. Which house should I buy? This one or that one? Although I was just renting $500 apartment, I would contact the realtor and ask him to show me the homes when listed. It might seem foolish to even think one can move from a $500 rental place to a mansion, but every dream starts from a simple thought. You have to be very clear in what you want. Point out the dream house you want in your dream neighborhood. Who decides? It's no one but you. You decide. Manage your thoughts to create what you want. Don't think about your current situation. Don't think about what you have. You have to create what you cannot see. Envision what you want. Even though you're renting a small place, manage your thoughts to create what you want. Thirdly, you have to stand firm on your belief. Faith is based on what you cannot see. The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for evidence of things not seen. If you can't see God, would He ask you to believe in Him? 
Foolish people only believe what they see. Foolish people only believe what they see. Failures believe only what they see. That's their characteristics. If you want success and be wealthy, you have to create the unseen. You sit in your $500 room but envision yourself living in a mansion in your ideal neighborhood. What is faith? It's seeing what you cannot physically see. Seeing what you cannot see and not doubting that you will obtain. Therefore, you have to manage your thoughts to live a well-balanced life. You have to help the needy, and there shouldn't be any needy people around you. Did you hear the story of the wealthy Choi in Gyeongju? He says anyone hungry within one mile radius is my responsibility. No one should go hungry within one mile radius. That's how I manage my thoughts and put into practice. So last night we created our own movie about balanced life. Our dream and vision has to be incorporated in that movie. We get easily distracted from our dreams and get back to reality in no time. And when we come across negative people, especially the ones close to us, we instantly come back to reality. What I'm saying is that you mustn't come back to reality. Faith is seeing the unseen. Your unshakable faith has to be strong enough to impact people around you. Vision yourself making 30000 per month. You can't see it now, but you have to plant that thought Envision yourself attaining that amount. And you have to share that dream with others around you. Initially, they will not believe you, but in time it will come. If you can just imagine yourself making 30,000 per month, surge of energy will flow through your body. Some of our top leaders have spent sleepless nights working out, but that's not all. They work tirelessly day and night until 1 or 2 in the morning. They would often go from town to town, endlessly showing business plans. So I urge you to do the same. That energy you get when you vision yourself making 30,000 will enable you to keep going. In your Balanced Life movie, you have to believe that you're making $50,000 a month. Also, ask your friend to buy you lunch, since you're providing excellent information for the fact that you're making $30,000 per month. Unshakable faith. Then the business will enfold itself. Faith is seeing the unseen and evidence of things no seen. When your desire and dreams become unshakably strong, it automatically becomes a reality. That's what we call belief. Believing your thoughts. That's right. Belief is believing your thoughts. Faith is believing your thoughts. What are you believing? All messed up reality in your current situation? Law of success is about managing your thoughts and truly believing that you want to live that balanced life that you deserve to live. So everything is summed up in our company's mission statement. Fourthly, serve in humility. 
This should be our lifestyle. Our thoughts are held high and our attitudes very humble. Cherish the people around you. Don't ignore or despise them. Esteem each other highly and humble yourself. The more you humble yourself, the more you will be lifted up. It's like spring, where the more you push down, the higher it will spring up. More you push down, the higher it will spring up. Don't be arrogant. When you humble yourself, you'll have heart to forgive wrongdoings. Learn to lose. Be a good loser. This way, you will not get hurt easily. You know those sharp women who claim they never want to lose? That's a sign of evil in their heart. Good people are good losers. You can define good and evil by how good of a lower you are. So all you have to do is make a decision to be good. Those who hate losing generally are not happy people. So in order to be humble, You have to accept and forgive other people's shortcomings and wrongdoings. Arrogant people cannot be successful. So what if you are a diamond master? Does that mean you cannot serve coffee or clean up? It's difficult for arrogant people to succeed. You see Dr. O? He dumps the garbage and says he does it because he wants to. He was a humble, willing heart. You have to have a humble attitude to be able to do that. So what does it take to be humble? You have to be a good loser and be willing to give more than take. You have to contribute and donate. Always think of giving. As long as you're giving, do it willingly, even if it means some loss on your part. Keep in mind that when you face loss, you're at ease. Your heart feels lighter. For example, I usually don't get upset when getting a traffic ticket. I figure it's bound to happen once I purchase a car. I once got a parking ticket not knowing that I wasn't allowed to park there. So there are those that insist that they don't know and rage over a situation. But once you have a car, you're bound to get a ticket someday. But buying a car, you have to consider the cost of fuel, maintenance, insurance as well as the random tickets you get. You have to consider all these factors in. Just be thankful you didn't get a ticket before. I used to budget all that even when I was broke. So don't get upset over a ticket. Just be a good loser. To be humble means to put others' needs first, before yours. Jesus is a perfect model for showing humility. Jesus set the example of washing his disciples' feet and said to those, and said to do the same to others. You not only wash your own feet, but also others. 
What does your feet signify? Dirtiest and lowliest. You don't resent the fact that it's dirty work or give excuses, but rather something that needs to be done. Learn to embrace and forgive others' wrongdoings. By doing that, others will do the same for you. When you criticize and keep resenting, you cannot serve with humility. By covering up others' mistakes and washing other wrongdoings, you become more humble. Our lifestyle has to be based on humility. Just because I'm the CEO doesn't mean I'm way up high somewhere. Our leaders believe that I'm very convincing and want me to give the lectures. So I accept and obey. And that's why I'm sweating and speaking. I'm not here because I know it all. It's about being humble to serve. And if the leaders tell me not to speak, I'll step down and sit quietly. If you know about CEOs, most will not speak as much as I do and lose his voice. They usually just greet very briefly and come off stage. But look at me, putting on a show like a monkey. I do it because people tell me I'm good, only because I'm good at it. I'll wrap up this lecture. Great job, everyone.